Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a weekend in the life vlog. Didn't quite go as planned. I have seriously been so unmotivated. Call me the Hulk. This is the healthy dessert, soft like a baby's bottom. I have one on my tooth. Go meet with a florist. It's a little different than what I thought it was gonna be. And without further ado, let's just get right on into my weekend. I just got back from running a few errands. As you saw, I went to Target, TJ Maxx, Ulta, Hobby Lobby, really all over the place. But I cannot forget the real reason I went, Starbucks. <laughs> Long story short, the reason I was running all those errands was because I was looking for something to add into my gifts for my bridesmaids because the first thing that I ordered from Etsy came in the mail yesterday and it's a little different than what I thought it was going to be. So I don't know, I'm just kind of debating if I should add something else or if I should just go with it. I would show you, but I want to hold off a little bit until I decide and until I give it to them so that just in case if they're watching this, they don't get their gifts spoiled and then I also did pick up a pack of blank cards and calligraphy pens for those of you that do not know I really like to do calligraphy I am definitely an amateur but I have fun doing it and at first I saw all these cute cards like that people use to ask the girls to be bridesmaids on Etsy where they kind of have their name written or whatever in a calligraphy font and I'm like you know what I could easily do that myself and it would be way cheaper and more fun. I also picked up this toning tube I don't know it's just a resistance band yesterday when I was working out I was using a band just like this and I snapped it in half. Call me the Hulk. <laughs> I don't know how I even did that, but I guess I was just going too hard in my workout. So I just got this one from TJ Maxx for $5, so I'm excited to use it today in my workout. But anyway, today's video is just going to be a weekend vlog. I'm hoping to share some healthy lifestyle tips with you guys in this video. Right now, I think I'm going to try to like do the calligraphy on these cards it is like almost two o'clock right now and then I'm going to get in my workout because I have yet to do that today I really just wanted to have a slow Saturday mornings but I definitely am feeling motivated to get in a good workout so first let's do the cards and then I'll take you along on my workout oh and I did want to show you I ordered these two swatches from Birdie Gray for like my bridesmaid dresses I don't know if it'll focus hold on obviously this is like way too soon to be getting bridesmaid dresses but I just wanted to have my swatches so that I kind of knew going forward like what my color was going to be and just so that I could use it for like decoration purposes and stuff like that I mean none of you are probably surprised you know how type a and that I'm a huge planner I'm a neutral gal so I don't really want like a color or anything I definitely want neutral I think that I'm gonna go this champagne one looks a little light for me I think that I'm going to go with this taupey color I really like it and I think it will look pretty but I don't know we will see I am kind of nervous to do this just because normally when I do calligraphy, when I say calligraphy, this is not like true calligraphy. I guess if I would more say like hand lettering, um, but normally I will just like look at something and copy it. So I'm tempted to like pull up my Canva font to see how that will look. I don't know. This came with a pack of 10 note cards, so I have a little bit of room to mess up, but I'm nervous. All right, I think I'm getting my mojo down. So here is one. I do need to clean it up a little bit. The only thing is, is I went through so many cards that now 
I don't have a card, so I only have a front and a back, but that's all right. I really think it'll be fine. I'm just going to write a quick message on there anyway. Now I feel like I need to knock them all out because I feel like I'm just kind of on a roll. I need to clean this one up a little bit too. Right down there. But I'm happy with it so far. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. I really need to get my workout in because I can feel myself crashing. And if I don't do it now, I'm not going to do it. Fun, fun. <laughs> Romy always has to make appearance in all the vlogs. I guess I could just give a little quick chat about my workout. I have been so unmotivated lately. I feel like this is not a flattering angle. Hold on. I have seriously been so unmotivated to work out lately, and I feel like I've been kind of saying this in my past few vlogs, but I just wanted to like sit down and kind of talk about it because I think it is important to share that you can never rely on motivation because honestly I have been in like a slump like this probably since like the middle of February. I just have been very unmotivated and I'm so thankful that over the years I've made working out more of a habit and I have created a habit and became more disciplined. If I'm being completely honest, I'm probably motivated to work out one out of the five days of the week that I do work out. The other four days, I'm just pushing myself to do it because it's like a habit on my to-do list, like brushing my teeth or taking a shower, you know? It's just something that I know I do every single day. So if you are somebody that is waiting for motivation to just come into your life to work out, just know that it doesn't work like that. And just as it comes into your life super quick, the motivation will leave just as quick. So you can never rely on motivation or something like that to carry you through it just doesn't last. And a little hack that I do that kind of helps me on days that I don't really feel motivated to work out, I tell myself, okay, I'm just gonna go work out for like 10 minutes. And if after 10 minutes, I still don't wanna do it, then I can be done. And honestly, normally by that time, i am already got my head in the game and I just wanna finish my workout. So that's a little hack. If you are struggling, maybe try to tell yourself that and start small, but don't rely on motivation to get you started or to carry you through because I promise you it leaves so quick and it will not last. All right, here is my little workout outfit, Lululemon sports bra, and then these bottoms are from Amazon. It's a full body day, so I know it will be a good one. I washed it all off and my face feels so soft like a baby's bottom <laughs> want to put you up a little bit higher but anyway today it is sunday yesterday got pretty hectic pretty quickly i had a great sweaty workout i think i kind of left you off there with my workout and i just wanted to say that the workouts that you really don't want to do are the ones that you need <laughs> because that was a great workout and i felt so strong and good afterwards so I don't know whenever you're really feeling unmotivated that's when you need your workout the most but today like I said is Sunday and it is my one of my rest days Sunday is always a rest day for me I just have like too much stuff to get done to be able to fit in a workout I probably will go for a walk later today though if the weather is nice right now I am getting ready because I'm going to go meet with a florist later today my mom and I got a quote from her earlier for the wedding and we just kind of want to meet with her because the quote that she gave we think was kind of like generic so we just want to speak with her to see more of an estimate I don't know we might end up just doing flowers ourselves it's just like crazy to me how expensive that flowers are because they just die flowers for me aren't like too high up in my budget they're not a priority by any means I mean I want them and I want them to be beautiful but I'm also not gonna spend a fortune on them so we're just gonna see I slept on my hair wet last night and it is like so wavy so I have to kind of straighten the back or else it will look like that TikTok that we all see about how our hair looked in middle school when like the sides are all straight and the back was like super wavy. Oh and I wanted to give a little update on that TJ Maxx band. 
do not buy that band. <laughs> Honestly, I was like kind of happy because it was only $5.99, but it was the worst quality. Like when I was working out, I almost felt like I was gonna snap it again. All right, I am all ready to go to the florist. I'm just done. These are the absolute best cookies. I have them in my teeth. But they're the Sweet Lauren's. Highly recommend. They're healthy, gluten-free, paleo, you know, all the goods, non-GMO, and I love them. Okay, so right now I am making myself a little snack and this is the healthy dessert or snack that I kind of wanted to show you. Um, all you need is three ingredients, a vanilla Greek yogurt. I use this one by ah, Light and Fit. And then I use some light Cool Whip and some powdered peanut butter. This is it, this is all you need, and you'll be on to a healthy, delicious dessert that almost tastes like a Reese's. So I'm weighing mine out just because I'm tracking my macros right now, and I wanna make sure that I'm getting in enough of my protein, so you don't have to do this, but I'm scooping out the vanilla yogurt. And I'm just going to take what I want and kind of mix it, mix it in. And then the next thing that I do is take this powdered peanut butter and I'm just going to sprinkle it right on top. This is what it looks like. It is seriously so good. It might not look that good but it tastes just like the inside of the Reese's. Do not mix in this powdered peanut butter. You wanna leave it just like this to make sure that you really are tasting all of the good magic. It seriously is so good and has been my go-to treat lately. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> Seriously, I told you guys I was not lying how much she loves this blanket and she's trying to eat my yogurt. <laughs> but I'm not kidding. If you are looking for a blanket for your pet, Barefoot Dreams is it. I kind of wanted to give a little bit of an update. But before I give an update, I did kind of want to say this snack has over 30 grams of protein which is really really good because most snacks are very carb and fat heavy and not protein heavy and if you are somebody that is like looking to tone up or you know get more of that lean tight look it is so so important that you make sure you are eating enough protein it's good to find little snacks like this that are still taste really good but are higher in protein just because it is so easy with like foods in america and stuff like that to overeat in the carbs and fats area but under eat in your protein i don't know i always try to make sure that i'm eating enough they say that if you want that look and if you are trying to put on some lean muscle it's important that you eat around one gram of protein per body weight and that's on the higher side so you could go a little bit less i would definitely try to aim from like the 0.8 to one gram per body weight if you weigh 130 that would be like 115 to 130 grams a day but definitely do your own research that's just what I aim for honestly there is so much that you can do with Greek yogurt to make like a healthy delicious snack I'm kind of interested like maybe I should do a little segment or video or something where I show you all the ways that I spruce up Greek yogurt to make it taste super delicious and almost like it's not even healthy I have a like cookie dough dip that I got from Kale Couture, Kale Couture is her name on Instagram that I like to eat that is also pretty high in protein 
and it tastes like cookie dough and then I also have like a way like to do it with the berries and then this and then I have another way too so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that I think that might actually be a good segment to do in my next vlog or maybe even in a new video just an idea but anyway back to the update so met with the florist didn't quite go as planned. I'm just gonna leave it at that. So I've been doing pretty good on that wedding planning stuff and I think that I can kind of slow it down a little bit now because I've got all of the big things booked and taken care of which feels really really good. So now for the next few months I can just kind of relax and browse Pinterest for some more inspiration. I have definitely had a productive day so far. I started editing my video, a video that will be up tomorrow. Well, that's confusing. It'll be up on Monday, but this video will be up after that. So make sure you go watch it. It's all on Elias Skincare, and I have been very impressed with their products, so make sure you watch it. I forgot to end the vlog, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.